all right this is for those who couldn't hear me in the first video so i've done a summary of everything that we took care of in the first video about the computer the basic part of the computer i've taken my time to break it down so you can see from this diagram the, um, the two main parts being the hardware and then the software and then i've broken down the different forms of soft um, hardware and then the software um, i'll take my time also to pick each of them and then go into good details like i did on um in the first in the first video with a terrible sound okay so the computer definition being an electronic device and it's an electronic device because it uses electricity now the two main parts the hardware and the software the hardware is a physical part of the computer the pc is a personal computer uh, you all know that it can be seen and touched tangible those are the the input hardware are the parts that are used to feed the computer with with data okay and i've specified some examples i've even made mention of examples that i didn't talk about in the earlier video okay so that that should be able to help you and then um okay well the software i also specify the kinds of software um that we have the instructions around the the computer those are the software the instructions commands they tell the computer what to do and the types of software um the operating system software and and all that i've specified all that so back to the types of hardware we've done input hardware and then the output hardware the output hardware they show the the user or they display information to the user after um data is processed into information i've given some examples then processing hardware um storage hardware um it is worth noting that an example of a storage hardware there is an example that also qualifies to be a communication hardware communication from one point to the other talking sending message you know so when that information is processed it is communicated and pen drives serve as story devices but they also serve as communication devices that is why you see that example in the storage and then in the communication so that is all there is about hardware if there are other examples that are confused about just whatsapp it to me or just do an audio or if you have any questions just do an audio and then i will be able to to answer it um the storage hardware floppy disk it's an old form of storage hardware i doubt if there are any computers that still use a floppy floppy disks I, I i doubt if there are any yeah okay so software the two main forms of software the printing system software and then application system software um if you remember i told you that the printing system software is the one that it's like it's like the soul of the computer it manages the hardware and other applications that also run on the computer okay without the operating system software the computer cannot function because it runs the hardware it runs the computer and now the utilities i had a question about what utilities are you know your normal utilities in your house electricity water you can live without them right but it will make life terrible good so think of that in the in the terms of a computer utilities the computer can run without the utilities a computer with an operating system and a, an application can run without utilities but the utilities generally help optimize and enhance the performance of the computer it enhances the performance so for instance it can be an utility that only maybe makes the sound a bit deeper or makes a particular level of video play or you know that explains utilities anytime you think you're confused just think about the utilities in your home you can live without electricity you can live without water but 